Welcome to Wake Up Call, your number one sports talk. I'm your host, Clapboy Bales, and of course, today's episode, we're going to be talking about the all-star competitions and my predictions for who's going to win each of the three that is starting tonight at, I believe, 7 o'clock on TNT. Anyways, um, we're looking for an exciting... It's, it's very exciting. Um, this year, we don't know what's going to happen. We're really expecting a lot of action. And, of course, I'm going to obviously pull up who's who's doing each thing on my phone so I can like make sure I know what's going on. So, first off, um, I'm going to just say the competition and who's a part of it and who I believe is going to win. Um, of course, I'm going to take a deep analysis on it. I'm not going to, like, um, completely go full on depth on, like, everything. But, like, I'm going to just say my brief, something brief. So, let's talk about the skills challenge. Um, so, there's eight competitors in the skills challenge this year. And, of course, I, um, originally, um, the... Derek Rose was one of the participants, but he is injured, and replacing him is Shia Gilgis Alexander. So that's the only replacement. Um, sorry. Um, just, anyways, um, also, congrats to the Badgers actually getting a road win for once, but it was against Nebraska, so ooh, they knew we'd win this one. Anyways, let's start with um, the participants of the challenge. So, Bam Adebayo out of Miami. Um, not a bad idea. He's the leading candidate, I think, this year for the most improved player. That dude really erupted this year. Of course, well-deserved to be in the all-star team. That's fantastic. Patrick Beverly of the Clippers. Um, of course, he's kind of dealing with injuries, but he's still part of it. So, it's kind of nice that he's getting to do this. He's nearing the end of his career. Great defender, and of course, he's only doing this because he's from Chicago, so this is his hometown, so of course that's why he's doing it. Uh, Spencer Dinwiddie out of Brooklyn, also a Chicago native. Um, um, so it's like, it's kind of nice, because um, two years ago he won the challenge, and he's the favorite to win it. So this isn't surprising, he's... So far, been the best player on the Brooklyn Nets this year due to Kyrie's injuries, but it's kind of a good thing. Then, Shai Gilgis Alexander out of Oklahoma City. Trey got traded from the Clippers for Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, and he's been, so far, doing really good. Um, I mean, he's a very underrated player, second year, so, you know, it's a good move. Then, DeMontis Sabonis um, out of Indiana. And, um, obviously another candidate for most improved player of the year. That dude is just having an outstanding year. So far the best player on the Pacers so far. Technically the Pacers are going with Miles Turner and Sabonis, both at center, and they're just trying to start them in the lineup, and it's working really well, so that's great. And he's having a phenomenal career. Yeah, I kind of didn't really... He was good in Gonzaga, and now he's dominating in the league, so it only took him a couple years. Next up, Pascal Siakam out of Toronto. Um, big shocker, he was going to do it. So, I mean, most improved player of last year. Of course, he's really shipping up to this. Then the winner of last year, Jason Tatum. Big, I mean, he's, I'm high on him again, not going to lie. And, of course, finishing up is out of Milwaukee Bucks, Chris Middleton, which I think he should have done this challenge last year instead of the three-point, personally. That's my personal opinion. So, I don't know, I do not know who is going to be, so obviously, as we know, Beverly won it back in 2015, uh, Dinwin, you won it back in 2018, and then Jason Tatum won it last year, so of course we have three guys that have done it before, veterans, they're, they know what they're doing, it's just simple as that, um, but of course, my prediction, I'm just going to say this out of the purest. So, of course, obviously, as we know the skills challenge. The challenge usually starts off where they dribble 
and do some obstacle course work where they dribble. Then they have to pass through a hoop. And they got to go down to one. They got to pass through some like hole or something. It's a little narrow hole, so it's like shows that you can actually pass the ball in a good state of mind. And then you got to go down, make a layup, and then go down to the other hoop, shoot a three pointer. Um, so it's kind of a nice. Um, it's like a little bit of everything challenge. So um, my prediction, um, believe it or not, I I don't think the centers really have a chance because Sabonis and Adebayo really aren't three-point shooters. So they're technically out of the picture. Beverly is old. I'm going to say he does. He wins his round, hopefully, but I think he'll do fine. I'm not. Shai Gilgis Alexander and Beverly are both good players. But like as you can see, they're not the greatest three-point shooters. They've gotten a little, they're okay at it. They're pretty average. Pascal Siakam good at three-pointers, I'd say. But I'm saying usually he's a power forward, so obviously, I wouldn't say his first attempt will probably go in. Um, and then you got Jason Tatum who won it last year by beating Trey Young with a half-court shot or something. So he beat Trey Young. By literally shooting it from half court, which was pretty unbelievable. So I don't, I, I doubt anything like that will happen again. Dinwiddie is knows how to play the game. He's smart. Personally, I'm not bandwagoning in here, okay? But I actually am going to pick Chris Middleton. Now here's why. Um, Middleton is a good. He can. He's not. I wouldn't say he's the fastest player, but he's a. He can be smart. Now, the passing is obviously going to little be a little bit of a struggle because he's not the most dominant passer, but if he's able to get the attempt in the first try, he's going to be able to get a big lead, make a layup, and he, of course, as we all know, as we've, I've watched the Bucks. okay? I'm, I'm a Bucks fan. You can tell. Literally, when he runs up to a, the three-point line and shoots it right away, you know it's going in, okay? You can't even... That's his best shot. If a run, When he runs up, stops and shoots right away you know it's going in because that's how he works so i'm going with chris middleton i really think he has this one in the bag um so next up we have the three-point challenge um first off um of course we all know damian lillard got injured he can't play in the all-star game that's unfortunate um so instead, his replacement is Devin Booker, who won it, I think, like two years ago or something like that. So we got a lot of good competitors in there this year. Um, but we're looking at these these eight. So first off, there's Davis Bertans. Believe it or not, ESPN has him as the favorite. I don't know why people are living. First off, he's a very good three-point shooter. Not going to lie. But... At times, he can just brick a lot of shots. Another guy is Devonta Graham, a guy that shoots three pointers. Really emerged this year, but I think he's really not. Good. He's not as no. He, I think he's like gonna end up last in this thing. No offense, he bricks a lot of shots. Joe Harris won the thing last year. Um, I wouldn't say he's having the year that he did last year. He really had a great come up year last year and that's why he won it because no one expected him to but like I don't see it from this year but he healed uh, in it last year personally I don't think he's dominant but I don't think he really a lot of he's not really talked about but it's not like a bad thing or nothing Zach Levine is going to be a huge favorite be only because he's playing in Chicago that's his team and literally he, it's, he that's literally the only thing that they're going to get out of Chicago he's the only player that's participating in anything for which is kind of a little bit sad Devin Booker of course is taking over Damian Lillard one or two years ago and believe it or not I'm, I'm, I'm going quick on this but my pick is actually going to be Duncan Robinson yes I said it Duncan Robinson um I feel like he is so far I didn't even I completely forgot about him I knew he was good in Michigan. He wasn't even, he was coming, he was always coming, he was like their sixth man uh Michigan two years ago. Like, the dude is already 25 or 26, and he's kind of been in the G League for the Miami Heat. Was in there last year, and then he kind of got called up later in the season. Next thing you know, he's starting, and the dude is sh the best shooter on the team. The dude is just, 
He's just one of those guys that could just shoot the lights out anywhere. Um, I gotta be honest, like, I believe Duncan, it's gonna be Duncan Robinson. It's my prediction. Um, I know, I, I just, I don't, I can't really predict these things because the three-point competition is, like, the most predictable and I always get the winner wrong. But I feel like this time, it's actually gonna be the right call, so, it's whatever. Next up, um... The dunk contest, my favorite one of them all. Um, of course, I have a Michael Red jersey on, but I literally taped the number four just so I can support Pat Pat. So, because, you know, I always got to support him. He's the most underrated dunker in the league, so I'm really happy he's going to show off and do this. And, of course, if I had 22 on, I'd be supporting Christian Yelich because I believe he's going to be there and helping with the dunk. So, I'm really excited because I met him, so of course, whatever. Anyways, um, um, anyways, um, so the comp the comp the competitors are Aaron Gordon, who participated in it twice. Of course, in 2016, he lost to Zach Levine, honestly, and arguably one of the best dunk contests there's ever been. The final two is like one of the greatest things we've ever seen. Aaron Gordon was doing some of those crazy dunks with uh that mascot from orlando so outstanding outstanding it's just then there's dwight howard he's been in it multiple times he's won it um known as known for doing the superman not a lot of other things he's of course he's very 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 i mean he's obvious is he high to win it again he's going against top players i don't know next up you got Derek jones he uh Derek Jones Jr. He um, participated in it uh, t three years ago, if I'm correct, and he ended up making it to the final, but he lost to I believe Glenn Robinson third. He kind of decided. Thing about Derek Jones Jr. is he is arguably the best dunker in the league. I don't really need to say it as a fact, but the problem is he can go a little bit overrated at times. And I feel like what happened in the dunk contest with him was that he just kind of like overdid it. The next thing you know, he just won't stop legit dunking. Like this year, you, you, you see all the highlights, and it's a lot of Derek Jones Jr. doing dunks. That dude is insane, okay? I mean, no guardian. And then, of course, the underdog is Pat Connaughton, who a lot of people really aren't talking about because... Is he, I think, I'm pretty sure, because he's white. Okay, I'm not trying to be, like, racist or anything. I'm just saying, like, but the dude has this vertical that's just unnatural that he can do. He's just been everywhere for the box, and he's one of the most athletic players. Besides DiVincenzo, he's one of the most athletic players on the team, which is just, which is just absolutely outstanding. Um, so, prediction. Um, of course... I don't want to pick Pat Connaughton because I don't really, I don't think he's going to win it. I mean, he's going up against three of the best dunkers in the league. Um, Dwight Howard is getting old with age. I think he might, I, if he wins it, that would be great, but I don't think so. So I'm between Derek Jones Jr. and Eric Gordon, Aaron Gordon. Um, think about it, those two did actually face up against each other in round one last, like three years ago. Aaron Gordon failed miserably because he tried to use a drone to drop it and dunk it. And he completely embarrassed himself and on national television, and it was really bad. So I know he wants to redeem himself. Derek Jones, in the final, had a really bad dunk, and he just couldn't redeem himself. A lot of, He really kind of was super good, but I feel like what will happen is DJ Jr. is going to go a little bit over the top and he is just gonna completely lose what yeah so personally i'm actually gonna say eric gordon gets his revenge and he will win the dunk contest this year so those are my predictions chris middleton duncan robinson and aaron gordon if i am right i'm a god so of course this is cloud boy bales signing off i'll see you next time on wake up call